So here we are at the Dulwich Picture Gallery in London and we're looking at a Rembrandt, A Girl at a Window, which is from about 1645. And this is just one of those pictures that it hooks you. You know when you're at a cafe and you're staring out, gazing at the world go by, that's what she seems to be doing in this picture. Her little rosy cheeks, but just that gazing off into the distance. Yeah, it's true. And being the viewer of this painting kind of puts you into that imagined scenario that she's looking at. If you kind of walk back and forth, it really is one of those portraits that seems like her eyes follow you. And as we're gazing at her, she's gazing back at us. We're equally beguiling to each other, aren't That's we? Right. And it's funny because there's very little background with this. I mean, we don't really know where she is. And it's called Girl at a Window, but you don't really see much of a window no, there. Girl definitely leaning on a ledge. <laughs> what is that background? And yet she's so captivating, even without any background. Rosy cheeks. You know, she, she makes you think, what temperature is it? What's she been doing to have those cheeks? Is she always that, you know, flushed in the face? Exactly. And her age, you know, when I first look at her, I think, young girl. But the more I look at her, the more I see some kind of, there seems to be wisdom in there. She's got gold chains on around her neck, you know, she's holding them. So it makes you question the status, because her clothes, again, are very ambiguous. Is that a nightdress? Is she a servant girl? I mean, to Rembrandt's credit, of course, but he, he really does make you kind of psychologically interested in her without giving you... I mean, he hasn't put a house in the background and he hasn't given her clothes that exactly tell you who mm -hmm. she is or how old she is. And he's kind of made you interested in her simply by how he's painted her in this very basic way. And the parted lips. Is that a smile? It's almost that Mona Lisa question, isn't it? Is she smiling at us or is she not? Is she staring past us? Is she looking at us? And I love the colour, the way he's used that kind of texture of the paint, the, the dry, rasping paint that he's put on her cheeks and the highlights in her hair really bring her to yeah. life. Kind of contrasting different areas of the painting as well, how kind of dark and nondescript the background gets. And even the ledge that she's leaning on, he's done with fairly quick brush strokes. And then the detail in the draping of her shirt and, again, that, those rosy cheeks. Her skin looks like it would be soft to touch. Definitely. This is definitely another one of those ones you just want to fall into it. But I find it's interesting because it mirrors what I want to do. I want to keep gazing at it in that people-watching way, which is what she's doing in the painting. Okay. They say that when Rembrandt painted this picture, he hung it outside, facing out of his, his apartment window, and people walking in the street shouted up, because they felt it was so realistic, Aww. that she was really there. A real girl in the yeah. window. Maybe that was where the name came from, rather than <laughs> the window being actually painted. Mm -hmm.